Hey everybody, Skinny Mitch here. Thanks for stopping by and checking me out. I wanted to give you guys um, an introduction video. Letting you know uh, a little bit about me and what I'm about. So, um, my name is Mitchell Pettengill. I also go by Skinny Mitch because I am very tall and very skinny. For a lot of people, I am shockingly skinny. So, I call myself Skinny Mitch. All right. I am, in, I am from Petaluma, California. I'm currently 51. I'll be 52 March 12th. Thank you in advance for any birthday wishes. All right. So, what got me into air gunning? Well, I'll tell you what got me into air gunning. The 2240, I'm sorry, the 1322 and the 2240. Um, I, about six years ago, went into Big Five and I saw the words 22 caliber air gun. And I was shocked. I had no idea that they made a 22 caliber pellet gun. I mean, I, I've only ever seen 177, like the one I had when I was a kid. Uh, during the summer at my grandpa's house, um, like the brake barrels that I used when I uh, went to Motorcycle Mechanics Institute to be a motorcycle technician, you know, I got one, a brake barrel, but I didn't really get into it or anything like that, you know. Um, but anyway, so I walk into the five and I see this and, and I had to have it. I, I grabbed it and come to find out you can modify these things. So, uh, I spent all this money in modifying this pumper um, and then I figured out that you could mod them to work off high pressure air. Well I didn't want to mess with my 1322 so I went out and got a 2240 and modified that to high pressure air. And uh, I said to myself one day, why are you putting all this money into these guns when you could just go out and buy one that's already got all the features you want on it? You know, didn't make sense to me. Why am I bleeding myself dry? So uh, I went and did some research, watched a video uh, from AEAC, Air Gun Enthusiast and Advancement Channel, Steve Shiali, doing his review on the Benjamin Bulldog. And you thought I was surprised about the 22 cal. My God, I flipped when I saw the 357. I, I just couldn't believe it. So I watched the video. I, I wanted to stop the video and go buy it right there, but um, I, I watched the video and uh, at the end, I was convinced enough to buy it. And I did. And uh, down the rabbit hole I went. Uh, the next video after that was uh, Steve Shally again doing the Adamant M2R Type 2 with the all green soft touch stock exclusive from Air Gun Depot. Um, had to have that. You know, and I just want to give you guys a little bit of background. I'm disabled, I have been for years. Um, so I have to save up for a long time before I want something. So, I mean, if you can be patient, uh, anything can happen, right? So, uh, that being said, I got the Adam in, and then um, after that came the FX Boss. I acquired an FX Boss. Someone wanted me to uh, repair it, and I put in so much work and money into it, they said, you know what, I'm just going to give it to you. So, um, I got the FX. After that, I got the Condor. I couldn't get the Condor to work. Um, and, uh, I couldn't get the Condor to work. Uh, it discouraged me, so uh, I sold it. In the meantime, I bought the 22 caliber gauntlet. When I got the money for the Condor, I bought the 25 caliber gauntlet. And uh, that's pretty much what started me down the rabbit hole, you know, those that 1322 and that 2240. And then uh, seeing that 357, ah. Uh, I, I, I dove in head first. Didn't even check to see how deep the water was. But uh, basically that's how I got into air gunning and my compassion for air gunning, um, like I said, I, I was disabled, um, disabled and uh, I was super depressed. I was down in the dumps and uh, 
air guns brought me from the brink I'm telling you um, that's why I have a lot of compassion and uh, you know next comes the com the camaraderie and and the willingness of people to help you in the air gun world is like phenomenal and these people want to help you you know I, I've had people say you know uh, call me we'll, we'll work this out you know and that camaraderie um, inspired me even more. And I thought to myself, you know, uh, I don't want to be a big YouTuber, so I thought to myself, you know, um, why not just do videos of your experiences? Not a review, um, really, per se, but um, just showing how your gun performs um, in certain circumstances, whether it's windy or rainy or you're going for long distance after shooting, you know, at 50 yards forever, um, and show people the performance of the gun so that they're informed, you know, they can make a decision on whether or not to buy it. Um, so, I mean, it just kept going on and on from there. I mean, I did a couple videos, instructional videos on, you know, uh, for instance, how to do the trigger on the gauntlet, right? Just a crappy video, you know, a couple hints, no big deal. And I had people out of the woodwork call me up asking me to help them fix their air gun. Didn't have anything to do with the trigger. It wasn't even a gauntlet, the first person that got a hold of me. And, um, I, it made me feel good, but how do these people get confidence in me from just that one video, right? So um, that inspired me to take it a little bit further and um, help people who get air guns that know nothing and for some reason something doesn't work or this doesn't do that or, or whatever, they get discouraged and they don't want to continue in the air gun world, right? Like me in that condor. And if I had the knowledge that I have today, I would still have that condor, but it discouraged me. And it didn't discourage me away from air gunning, but it discouraged me away from um, that gun. So anything I can do to help someone, you know, uh, I'm happy to do, I mean, I have so much compassion for air gunning and I want people to have a good time. I don't want them to have a bad experience that will steer them away. I want to spread the air gun world to everybody so that they can enjoy it. I mean, it's just phenomenal, man. I mean, in so many different ways. I just, I'm just blown away, really. I mean, despite it pulling me from the brink and um, all that, you know, it, it's just an all around great thing. You know, it brings people together. And that's what we need in this world, people to come together, take care of each other. Yeah, I don't know you. It, but if your gun's broke, I want to help you fix it. Why? Because I want you to have a good time. I want you to have fun. That's why I always say in, at the end of all my videos, be safe and have fun. Because that's what it's all about. If you're not having fun, then why do it? Right? And if your gun's not working right, or you know whatever the case may be, you don't have the fundamentals, it can discourage you away from it. And so that's my compassion, really. Spreading the word, helping people as much as I can, getting people into the air gunning. You know, I, I actually think I owe a debt of gratitude for what air gunning has done for me. So with that being said, guys, you know, uh, I don't want to keep this going too long. I just, I'm stuttering because I'm just so grateful. I really am, man. It's a great sport. I love it. I love all of you. Um, I love the camaraderie. I love that people will go to the ends of the earth to help you. 
you don't find that that much in, these days. You know, I want to embrace that to the fullest extent. Um, real quick, um, I am working towards better videos. Okay, I really am. Um, like the background now sucks. I'm working on a background. Um, I got a digital camera, uh, a Vixia, a Canon Vixia HFR20. Um, I'm just having problems using it and, and having it being compatible with my phone or my tablet. So um, that's why sometimes I have sideways videos and, and stuff because I'm using my phone and my tablet. Um, I haven't changed anything on them until recently, so I don't understand why my videos are so inconsistent. Some of them are crooked, like for instance, the videos I did today, um, the wind was blowing so hard, it ruined my video. But I still posted the video because it was real world. This is what happened to me. This was my experience. So instead of doing a video about the Benjamin Bulldog and the Adamant at 90 yards plus, um, it turned into a performance video of the Adamant and the Bulldog in heavy wind. So I said, screw it. I'm still going to post it. Even though it's a crappy video, it didn't turn out the way I want. Someone out there will be able to get information from that, take something from that. If I can get people to watch my videos and take something away from it, that's my total goal. Absolutely, 100%. Anyway, thank you to everybody who has helped me. Thank you to everybody that is in the air gun world and putting that information out there to further our knowledge and experience so that we can enjoy the sport all right thank you guys like i always say be safe and have fun i'll see you next time all right